What's going on guys? It's Kevin. Uh, got another sweet Cayman leaving here. You're looking at a 2009 custom Cayman. I'm going to go over these features here. I got Marky and uh, Tom Feaster behind me, the owner. But let's take a look at this uh, sweet boat. This thing is absolutely beautiful. First of all, we got the Honda 50 EFI. This boat is going down to the Keys Marathon. Uh, Tom is the captain down there, but this is a uh, Honda 50 EFI. He's got two props, a four blade for the whole shot, which is cupped, and then he has a three blade uh, speed prop. He has a blackout package on the, uh, on the entire boat, so even the trim tabs here are powder coated. He has the Stiffy Extreme with stainless steel tip. We have the custom pulling platform, it's a little higher than normal with the lean bar tubes. He's mainly flying artificial, but he does do every now and then some live bait, minimal crustacean stuff, shrimp, crabs, and uh, maybe even some uh, pinfish or fingerlings. But we have the cup holder. Everybody needs the beer holder. Hydraulic steering. He's got the rod holders. Notice the rod holders are powder coated, and so is the uh, cup holder. Again, uh, one of those sweet features. Front casting platform. Mounted it a little further back so you can strip into the cockpit for his fly fishing clients. He also has the solid white non-logo outdoor mat that we do. This is a rubberized mat. So it's all the way through. Um, great feature. Really great product. It will last forever. We also have two white, which is a first for us instead of the black. Uh, locking doors. We have one there, one there. Another first for us is a rear hatch. I got some gel coat drying right now on it, but uh, you can see the rear hatch there. It is lockable. We have inside two stand-up pipes for overflow, a tall one for when he's got bait going on, and then we have the short one for crustaceans. We also have the aerator there and the plug. So if he doesn't want the stand-up pipes, he just puts the plug in. This goes right through the hole outside. We have drains here down at the bottom. We also have drains here on the side of the tray. Now that tray is actually a half inch taller than this side. So water will actually, if water ever gets in this side, it'll slide down and make its way out. But this is a full research system in this thing. Uh, this is a full Keep Alive uh, KL1100 model, which is way overkill but that's what he wanted and it's an eight gallon capacity really a sweet setup um, but I mean this is just a hell of a ride then when you talk about the trailer full custom rambling and it's got the uh, mag wheels and uh, there you have it full custom You guys take it easy and the other thing it has that I wanted to mention that I didn't mention it has ghost switches if you look right underneath his console you'll see a switches it gives it a cleaner look and he'll run it and he'll run it and be able to know where all the switches are again it's another cool tricked out feature but it's just awesome so there we go. We have the white doors. He also has the built-in tank, which is also powder-coated. So a lot of cool things. Now we're going to talk a little bit about the boat. The performance on the Caymans, truly unmatched for what it is. It offers the driest ride out there in the form of a smaller skiff slash micro skiff. And for the money, you can't beat it. I mean, the boat's already come packaged with trolling motor, I mean, uh, with trim tabs, Odyssey brand cranking battery, polling platform, vacuum diffuse, vinyl ester resin. I mean, just, you know, fully cored. I mean, we could strip a boat down like other manufacturers and sell it for nothing. And then by the time you add all your options, well, you should have got a Cayman. So, anyways, there you guys go. Hope you enjoy it. Tom, thank you for everything. Hey, man, thank you. It's awesome. I'm very happy. What's the name of your guide business? 
Uh, right now, I don't have my name going. I got two different options, but it's Captain Tom. I live in Marathon, Florida down there. Uh, bonefish permit, uh, tarpon, shark on fly. That's what we're going to be doing. And what made you choose the Cayman and East Cape? Uh, the thing about the Cayman was, first of all, was talking to you guys. Uh, uh, the boat itself is, is just a well-thought-out boat. Um, I think it's going to really blow a lot. I'm, I'm, I've had my bad times with the other brands, uh, and I, I really can't wait to show and blow this away, you know, down in the Keys and show other people. Well, on behalf of us and Mark, we thank you. So. Come on, big dog. Don't leave me. I'm not good on film. You know that. Here He's you shaking. Go. Thanks, man. Unless I'm getting paid. There you guys go. Take care. This is Kevin. God bless. Peace. Got to go.